I like to admire my house from the outside. But every time I do, I drown. Hey guys, welcome back to Underwater Survival, and today I'm going to be giving you a tour of my whole base so far. So, it used to be that I could never leave the surface of the water. Now I can, but I first have to go somewhere else by taking an underground tunnel, just so, um people don't know exactly where this is. Now, some people like Durlan and Nexus Squire, they know where it is, but at least Iapeta, and the reason I had to come here in the first place was because they were tracking me. At least Iapeta doesn't know where it is. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to show you what I've made. So this is the first thing I made. This is sort of like the mining storage building. It's, it's made out of two connected little things that are connected up here. Uh, so you can go in that way. And uh, this goes down to, like, a mine, where I've been getting all my ores. Here's my smeltery, where I smelt stuff. Uh, and here's my storage area, so I store all my, like, everything I mine here. And on the other side, this is kind of like my junk drawer. I keep a, lot of, keep a lot of junk in there. And if you go down here, I haven't really made a use for this room yet, but it kind of empties out into the other side. It goes back into this place, where the, where the first original room is. So, I don't know what I'm going to use this room for. You can leave in the comments section, what should I use this room for? Because I, I like having a lot of rooms, but sometimes I make too many room, more rooms than I need. So yeah, this is my storage, and then this whole place is connected by tunnels that go through the water. Over here is my farming building. So, uh, normally there are trees growing here, but right now uh, they're not... Because I'm working on replacing the floor, I want to make the floor all stone. The whole floor of this whole place is just regular stone. So yeah, here's my melon farm. And no, I did not get these melons from above ground. I went mining, and I found a mine shaft, and I got melon seeds. So now I have these seeds, but before... You see that kelp out there? Before I got these melon seeds, I had to live entirely off of dried kelp. Which was not very fun, because dried kelp only gives, like, half a food bar, but this melon slice gives a whole food bar, so that is quite an improvement. So yeah, uh, there's sort of a junction of the tunnels here, This goes that's where I just came from, that's the farm, and this goes to sort of like the main center building-ish thing, and it has two layers right now. I'm going to make a third layer in my next underwater survival video, but this is just a tour. Here's a dancing table, because Exasquire once randomly started dancing here, so yeah, I can try to dance not a very good dancer in real life or in Minecraft. Uh, so this this is X Esquire's guest room. He's not here right now, but he sometimes comes here. So there's a nice guest room he made for himself. Uh, down here, like the, what's cool about this building is there are no doors. This is like the central building, but there are no doors directly from here to the outside. The outside meaning like the water. You always have to go to here from another building. So, here are my two pet sheep. This is Pink as Sheepus, but right now he's sheared, and for some reason he likes to stand on that fence, and he's, maybe he's going on a diet, he's not eating much grass. So yeah, you're, you're, you are losing some fur there, I can't really tell that you're pink. But he is pink, take my word for it, and this is his wife. And one day they're gonna have babies, but um, they need to have wheat first, and I don't have any wheat down here, so one day when, it, when I get wheat, they're gonna have babies. So, uh, this is the secret train to Matricon. Matricon is the place, it's about 200 blocks away from here, and here's the train station. So this is a secret train I made, it goes to a city called Matricon, and that's basically how I can leave the surface of the water, by going there. But I can't just directly leave the surface of the water here, because if I'm spotted, people will know where my base is, so I have to take a tunnel somewhere else, so that people don't know exactly where my base is. So, yep, yeah, this is the first layer. And uh, there's also this tunnel goes to my church. So it's uh, quite a long tunnel. You can see there's a bit of a decoration on the outside, but like I said, it's hard to look at the exterior decorations when you're underwater. So yeah, uh, this is the church. This is the entrance of the tunnel, and there is a there is a door like that goes leads to the leads to the outside here. This is what the church looks like from the outside. So yeah, you walk in here. And there's some stained glass. The only colors for stained glass I was able to get are blue, light blue, and, like, light gray. Because, like, I have to... I can't have, like, red or yellow, because you need flowers for that, and I couldn't find those underwater. But a lot of things are blue, because lapis is the only, like, color I could find. So, yeah, there are the, the pews, the chairs. 
I this is all made out of gold that I mined myself here. There's a little side thing here. So yeah, there's a much uh, smaller, humbler church than I had in my sanctuary, but I still tried to decorate it pretty well. And there are those lapis pillars that you saw. So yeah, now I'm going to show you my bedroom. So my bedroom is up here. And there's a sort of secret entrance. So up here, this just says plumbing. But that's really just a disguise for, it's actually the passage to my bedroom. If you step on this pressure plate and then quickly jump up the ladder, this thing will open up here, this piston door, and then that'll bring you up to this upper tunnel. And yeah, I'm going to make uh, something up there. And then this leads into my room. It's made out of white and pink wool because the sheep, the only sheep I had were white sheep and pink sheep. I guess I could have made a blue sheep, but I didn't want to have white, pink, and blue because that looks like something I don't want to uh, have my room be those colors. Uh, so yeah, here I have five insane swords. Now, of course, I did not make these myself. Um, these are the five best swords that Durlan, the country, ever created in their, like, uh, almost now, almost 200 years of existence. 200 Minecraft years, it's like three and a half human years. Uh, yeah, these swords are crazy. And the, I, they arrested me a few episodes ago. The reason they have not come to arrest me again, well, they did come. The reason they were not able to is because I had their best swords, and I was able to one-shot them anytime they came after me. So I am not going to give the swords back until they make an agreement with me that they're not going to try to arrest me again. I, I took the swords when I broke out of prison because somebody in the prison was helping me escape. So yeah, this goes into the tunnel that I just showed you that goes back to the church. So like, the thing is, when I'm, the way I enter my room is not the same way that I leave my room. This goes back into the, back into this place. So if I want to enter my room, I just go this way, go up here. This is how I enter my room. But if I want to leave my room, I can't leave my room this way. I can't reactivate the piston from over here. I have to walk over to here. I have to take this trap door. And yeah, I have to jump down like this. And yeah, then this, the church is that way, and the main center building is this way. So yeah, it's it's like a circle, and then you're, you're right back out here. So yeah, uh, Pincus, are you good, man? Yeah, yeah, I was. Yeah, by the way, Pincus Sheepus learned English, because... How, how did you learn English? Wait, what? I, I didn't know that. How, how old are you? Yo, that, that's crazy. How is that possible? Well, I can't really tell that you're pink. You know what? We're, go we're gonna get you down back into your little place because, um, yeah, can, can you maybe scooch, like, okay, I'm, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna bring Pinkus, Pinkus Sheepus into his, uh, little pen. Yo, go, go back. Eat some, eat some grass. You're probably starving. Okay, come on, get get in there. Why do you... Okay, there we go. Be, be with your wife. Okay, so... Okay, got him back. I don't really have my axe. Now, I, I do have an iron axe somewhere. It's not with me right now. My battle axe was my main weapon, but unfortunately, um... Unfortunately, Durlon took it when they arrested me, and I think maybe I'll, I'll get it back if I can trade them for those swords. And those swords are still much more powerful, but maybe they can also agree to not attack me anymore. See, I'm just going to get out my tools and stuff. I did manage to get one apple, which is cool when I cut down a new tree. It's pretty rare to get apples underwater. Yeah, so now that I'm done touring, I guess I can just hang out a little bit more. I'll show you what my daily routine is. My daily routine usually consists of planting these. This is also something I forgot to show you. It's I can uh, basically make my own bone meal. Uh, oh yeah, nice one of the one of the trees planted. I can make my own bone meal, so um, usually not good to use bone meal if you only have one. Uh, that way I can get things started on growing. So yeah, this is a this is a really really nice underwater farm. I mean the melons taste kind of dry and stale all the time because you know they're never really exposed to proper sunlight. And yeah, the, the wood is just a little bit soggy because it never really got the right nutrients, but it, it, it's pretty good. It's pretty decent. 
and I have like a bunch of torches all over the floor. I, I know that now in this update you can put torches on glass, but I want to kind of avoid doing that because it still just looks wrong to me. Because I, I've been so used to you not being able to do that in Minecraft. Wasn't here anything? Oh yeah, I think uh, this is uh, Sandy and Express's stuff because he stops by here too sometimes. Okay, there we go. Now Pink Sheep has finally grown his wool back. Okay, dude. I, I gotta talk to you about something, by the way. The reason... You, no, no, don't look away from me. The reason X Esquire was able to find me is because you told him where I was. Why did you do that? Well, um, I know you're not supposed to take sides, but okay, don't don't walk away. From, I'm ta I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you, dude. I know you're not supposed to take sides, but how can I trust you? You're not gonna rat me out again like that. Okay, uh, I okay. I know you're making out with your wife, but talk to me. No, no, no. D -d don't worry. This. Okay, I'll wait till he's able to talk. So basically, the little background is X Esquire knew where I was because I wanted to bring home some sheep so I could have some wool, but Pinkus sort of like ran away, and um, then he told X Esquire because I think he had some partners partnership with X Esquire. How do you know X Esquire? Oh, that's right. I do remember you, man. And dude, why'd you leave your pen? You know you're not supposed to leave your pen. <laughs> Wait, what's he doing? Wait, is, is he panicking? Why, why are you panicking, man? Wait a minute. Dude, sheep, sheep can't break blocks. You can't get out of that. You can't get out of the pen. He, he's totally a spy. You think he's a titan spy? Yo, you a titan? Yeah. Are you a titan spy? Answer honestly or you shall die. You have three are seconds. Are you a titan spy? You have three seconds to answer me. Three... Oh, you can text. So that means you're definitely not a normal sheep, and you're definitely a spy. I'm sorry, but the, your prefix literally says spy. So <laughs> um, you're going to have to do a better job next time of hiding the fact that you're a spy. All right, come on with me. You're going to the Durlon prison. Come on, come on. That was so long ago, dude. Um, so you said you can help me. Uh, how exactly can you help me? Okay, don't stick your butt at me, but that is, hmm, I don't want to ally myself with Durlon because it's like, maybe they're the lesser of two evils, but they're still evil. At least Empress Buthany is, you know, she um, killed one of her own governors to, as an excuse to start a war by blaming it on Iapeta, so I don't know if I can do that. That's true, it did not go very well for me. Um... Yeah, but, like, I don't know. I, I, I guess it's probably what I have to do. I just I just feel very un, very uncomfortable doing it. Oh, you're from Hyperland? When were you born? Oh, yeah, you were born in, like, the, the 7900s. Wow, that's a really long time ago. Um, yeah, but how, how do I know I can still trust you? Pinecone. Yeah, she was governor of Hyperland. Are you saying she, she's going to know who you are? All right. I I guess I'll ask her. Uh, I'm, I'm, you know, Pinecone doesn't really play Minecraft anymore. But I know, I'll, I guess I'll investigate to see if she did indeed uh, have a friendship with Pinkish Sheepus. And if that's the case... I, I guess we're cool. I guess I can trust Pink as Sheepus, but I'm gonna... Supposedly he worked with Pinecone on a project a long time ago, but yeah, it, I'll have to investigate. Pink is... I mean, I, I believe him. He, he's honest. He doesn't really take sides, but I think maybe he can help me, because so far things have not been working out very well for me. It's like, I had a huge, nice sanctuary and I had to leave, so I made my underwater base, but not even that was safe. But then again, the reason it was unsafe was because of Pincus. But now Pincus says he can maybe help me get out of here altogether if I side with Durlon. I'll have to think about it. But you know what? I'm, I'm going to go with Pincus Sheepus in my next Discovering the World to Hyperland, or his part of Hyperland, the University of Hyperland that supposedly he made. And yeah, so we'll see. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.